Good morning, YouTube. It is August 7th, 2011, and this is your girl, Young Gifted in Black, recording from my room in California. Garth Fagan is over and done with. The Summer Movement Institute was amazing, and I promised myself that I would um, talk about my experience there and all the great things that happened. I can't believe it was over so fast. It was three weeks, and like it was just jam-packed with such... Um, such information and such again experience and such a great time so um, I'm gonna go over a few things that happened while I was there this is also one of the notepads that they gave us on the first day so the classes um, our teachers were Lindsay Renee we had Natalie Rogers Cropper and um, who else do we have for warm-up we had Nicolette and we had Shannon and they're all members of the company save for Natalie who runs Garth Fagan's um, dance school we learned like about a 45 we always like try to figure out how long it was it felt so long but it wasn't that long about um, a 45 minute warm-up and we also learned four or five across the floor sequences and we learned like a piece for um, 10 towards the end of SME and basically you're gonna do the same things it's like a combination between modern and like calypso dance and like Caribbean dance so you're gonna do um, the same plies you're gonna do uh, tendus you're gonna do your degages developes um, you're gonna hit your arabesque you know the back arabesque all that so um, it was like a combination of what I learned before but also a lot of new things that are very specific to Fagan you'll learn terms like Zuncher and spiral sequence and preparation for spiral sequence, bongas, and they might be things that you've had in other classes before, but Fagan has a very special way and a body posture about what they do. Um, we also had beyond our technique classes, we had an anatomy class taught by, she's still in med school, her name is Ashley Slaughter, she used to take classes at Fagan, and we went over injury prevention, the different muscles, tendons, the ligaments of the body, muscle building, and we got to ask her all of our questions as dancers about our aches and sprains and how to take care of our body and what builds muscle and how we gain flexibility. And she was really open to all those questions. So shout out to Ashley Slaughter and good luck this semester. We also took a music appreciation class with Natalie. We went over the kind of music that Mr. Fagan uses, his um, fondness of Brahms. We talked about jazz and its origins and we went over making up um, different rhythms it was like a group exercise and that was really fun um, going against the rhythm which Mr. Fagan's choreography does a lot it'll be a certain pattern in the body and it'll be a whole different pattern in the music and so we got to see um, the effectiveness of that and how it worked as a creative concept we also took um, alternative careers in dance and stage presentation this was taught by uh, the company manager, Chantel, and also the school manager, Natalie Rogers Cropper, talking about how it's not just professional dance that's available to people with dance degrees, but you can also um, get your master's in art administration, you could run a school, you can um, be an agent, you can, there's so many different careers in dance, so we were talking about all the different options, and Natalie and Chantel really gave us a wide breadth of that, and in terms of stage presentation, the different stages that are available for dance, like um, Broadway auditions, hip hop auditions, what it's like to audition for a live musical, all those types of things they went over and appropriate dress, how to get selected. The thing also about Fagan is that it's open to all ages. So we had people there who had experience doing alternative careers like grant writing or people who could give more tips about auditioning because they were professional dancers themselves who were actually taking SME. So that was one of the really cool things about this is that because there was no age limit on it, we had people with more experience that could add to conversations like this. We also took a nutrition class with Natalie Rogers Cropper. She used to be a personal trainer, so she told us helpful tips to keep our body in shape before and after SME, the proper way to balance a meal. At Fagan, they don't believe in starving yourself. She said, if you want to lose weight, you eat the same amount in smaller, in smaller bites, and you get your cardio on to burn fat. So Natalie was really helpful in um, helping young dancers figure out how they want to, you know, slim their line or how to gain muscle or um, just how to take care of yourself as a dancer because a lot of people do very unhealthy things and different kind of diets. We talked about that in anatomy also and what those diets will do to your body. Cutting out a whole food group is not good. We took field trips. We went to the Alvin Paley 
um, I guess it was a metal shop, and we got to see how he works with Mr. Fagan also. His dancers have danced around some of the structures. He's a very famous metal worker. His blacksmithing is just world renowned. Like no one has a technique like he has. So it was cool to go to his warehouse and see how they make the metal, how they weld it, all the pressure and the heat. And he also works with glass and does printmaking. It was a very inspirational time. We took another field trip to, actually, was that our only field trip? Hmm. I can't remember. <laughs> I think so. No, we went somewhere. We went to a discussion. We went to a performance was our field trip with Bill T. Jones. That was amazing. And we also went to a Bill T. Jones and a Garth Fagan discussion. That was another field trip. And that people cried. Like, it was really moving. Their words were really moving. I took quotes. It also can be found on my Tumblr at shantemichelle1l.com. Um, our movement classes, like I talked about, were warm-up combinations, the terms that we used. Then we had repertoire towards the end of the day. It was our last class. And we did a excerpt from Time After Before Place. And some were selected to do landscape for 10. Time After Before Place consisted of Whispers and Serpentine. And that was a dance based off the concept of the snake tempting Eve. So we got to be the snake. And I'm not really sure what Whispers was based off of. But it was really cool to actually do some of Mr. Fagan's choreography. The company... A lot of people don't know this, but the company's been running for 40 years, and they just know the acclaim in the 90s from, from The Lion King, but he's been doing a lot of work, and it's really awesome to actually get it in your body. It's one thing to study it in a book, and it's one thing to hear me talk about it, but to actually do it in your body is a whole different experience. Very worthwhile. We Oh, the selection process for choreographic projects. When we arrived, we got a schedule, and we noticed on it that it said, Choreographic Project for Selected Students. Um, P.J. Nor Norwood, Norwell, Norwood, selected to, I'm sorry, he's also the archivist for um, Fagan, so you will see him around snapping shots. Uh, he selected a few students to do a special choreographic project that he was making, and um, the selection process for this, if you ever want to get into a special project or if you just want to do really well in your classes, you need to be able to learn fast. You need to have um, a good line. You need to have solid technique. And if you display all of these things, what I mean by good line, I mean by um, basically no excess on your body or not too much excess on your body so that the extension can easily be seen, so that um, you know when your point can easily be seen and basically you just have really great stage presence and you come across well in a, in a live stage. That would be a great way to be selected for special choreographic projects and also be put in the front of formations or if you want to do landscape for 10. And it's really your chance when you're being taught things to show them what you've got, to work really hard at comprehending everything and to go well with the changes. Don't talk back, just learn as fast as you can and focus and do the work and you should make it. Um, so they were selected for choreographic projects, selected for warm up combinations, um, certain parts of the repertoire and also invitations for company classes and the way that this works is that Mr. Fagan does not have a formal audition process. His audition process is to invite you to company classes and it's not the kind of company where you need to come in with a really strong ballet technique because some of the best dancers in the area have been turned down for company but you need to come um, ready and willing to work very long hours because I believe it's from 6 p.m. and could go on till about 11 p.m. so it's professional hours. Oh, one of the other cool things about his company is that not only are they paid for performances, but they're also paid for rehearsals. So that's pretty awesome. But company class invitation comes directly from Mr. Fagan. It should not be turned down. That is extremely rude. And when you do go, you'll get to actually take classes with the company. Your warm-up will be similar to what you're doing in SME, but um, it'll definitely, definitely be several notches up. They came back and those guys were pooped. I think, how many people did he select? I don't remember. Mm, I want to say like maybe 10 maybe um, to take company classes and they were really excited to go they were incredibly nervous don't be nervous just do your best and some of them um, walked away with some really cool information had a great experience uh, you know learned some things about the company whether they liked to fit or not got to show how much they really wanted to be in, com in the company and um, some of them were offered some opportunities so you never know and um, our composition piece we did with Natalie Rogers Cropper, um, PJ Norwood choreographed his choreo. I always want to call it say Norwell, but it's Norwood choreographed his project, 
and we worked with Natalie Rogers Cropper. It was about um, six SME students, and we worked with thematic variation. And what that is is taking a piece of dance and working it within the students' bodies and fitting it for the composition. We got to do calypso rhythms. So the way we choreographed was we choreographed to Caribbean music, and then we put that over live classical music. So that was really fun to look forward to towards the end of the program. And I appreciate that very much because you don't always get to have a direct hand in the choreographic process. And I learned a lot from Natalie. And because it was such a small group, we got to ask her so many questions. And um, she gave us a lot of helpful things to think about um, with dance composition. So it was good to be reminded of those things. The boarding experience. There is available rooms on the 7th and 8th floor. And they come with a dresser, like I was showing you, a window, a mini fridge, sheets, a comforter, pillows, and an extra blanket, and a closet. Um, one of the rooms had a connecting bathroom that had a tub, a shower, and a sink. Some of the rooms have sinks, and for the most part, everyone uses a common shower or bathroom area. Um, I'm not sure what's going to be available next year, if they're going to offer all those things again, or if you'll get the room with the bathroom, or if you get the room with the sink. I don't know. So uh, you get what you get, and you don't have a fit. Okay? <laughs> they did their best to accommodate everyone, so thank you very much to the people at Garth Fagan Dance, and um, even the people who... who they ran out of rooms and they got to, there were people, two ladies who got to stay with a member who used to dance with the company and her house was great and she just opened their home to them and they had a really wonderful experience with her. So I was a little bit jealous, but you know, it happens. So it was pretty cool for them though. Uh, groceries, there is a Wegmans, which is the Rochester grocery store. I'm not sure like if that's just a New York thing because I don't know what Wegmans was so I got out there, but Wegmans had pretty great prices, and I was like, all oh, Wegmans everything. Like, I was really stocking up on Wegmans stuff, so I wish they had one out here, but apple oat bread. We lived off some apple oat bread in Rochester. But you have to take, the bus is a dollar out there. How great is that? So you get to take the bus. If you're 18 and over, I suggest you go in groups. Um, if you're 18 and over, you go to the grocery store, you get your stuff, and then you come back. This year, they offered one grocery trip when you first came, so you could just stock up on all your stuff then or you could go later some people also brought vehicles who are from the area so you can go to walmart and stock up on stuff there and they had even better prices at walmart so it depends on how you feel about walmart some people are touchy about it but those are basically your options for food there's also a very active nightlife in downtown rochester where we were staying so you could go get chinese food golden dim sum was delicious it's off of east avenue they had sushi. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Go to Golden Dim Sum if you're in Rochester. And yeah, there were a lot of different places to eat. Java's, the spot, all kinds of different stuff available. It's actually like right next to, yeah, a few places. Yeah, very active for nightlife. So, um, da -da 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 -da. building access. We were given codes to the building to get in. These codes are not to be shared with anyone else, and I will tell you my code. But you basically punch it in, very easy, door opens, go up to your room or go up to the studio, whatever. There's also a, um, a fitness center downstairs. Oh, and at 50 Chestnut Plaza, there's the Chestnut Cafe, which is really good. They had a breakfast special for like $4. It was like eggs, meat, cheese, pancakes, all kinds of really great stuff. So, yeah. Um, we received keys to our floor, to our room and also to the hallway restroom. Keep track of those keys because you will need to turn them in at the end. And the area was a really fun area, like I said, very active place. Um, paying for Fagan. I got a scholarship through my school and a lot of kids had scholarships and a lot of adults also through Fagan. And how they have you pay that off is you do chores. So you have meetings after your classes and they'll give you like, a, it's literally a chart <laughs> and it has like the chores, the things that need to be cleaned, wiped down, um, put away, and we'll have you, all your names and the chores for the day. You won't have chores every single day, but you will have to pay for that. Somehow payment plans are available. Um, also for things like this, you can get sponsors to sponsor you, and you can um, you can get scholarships to go to SME through your school, through your four-year university institution, or a grant or something to go, and um, you can explain your reasoning to those benefactors. So there was also studio space available, and this was really helpful because every day you're learning so much material, especially within those first two weeks. Actually, all the weeks you need to practice, but um, it's really helpful to go as a group and to um, rehearse the things that you learned and to just have fun and remember why you're there is to have fun. I recommend that you write everything down. 
I definitely had to write down the sequence for the warm-up because I will be doing that again. So I hope all of you have a really great August. Happy August. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.